YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. Um, today is Wednesday, November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving, and I wanted to put out a quick message because within our little community, we're having a lot of heartbreak right now because Libby Halevi made a very cruel, inappropriate comment about Dana Durnford, actually even made an analogy and didn't compare him to Charles Manson, but threw Charles Manson into the conversation. And honestly, her, her, her remarks hurt, and it made people doubt her sincerity in wanting to stop nuclear. But the day before Thanksgiving, I, as an American, I really feel very strongly that we need to stop with the hate rhetoric. Dana Durnford got himself into legal trouble in Canada because of hyperbolic words. he get all excited. I, it's illegal, as we have found out in Canada now, to say somebody needs to be strung up on a pole because they're murdering the planet. You can't say that. I guess that's considered uh, aggravated something. Not assault, but it's, you know, you guys know. The issue is this. Libby Halevi did exactly the same thing. She made some hyperbolic statement about Dana Durnford. We can't just throw people under the bus and just use that one little clip on them and then totally write them off forever. Uh, I have made public, it's cost me a lot of my energy and time this week, which is why I haven't gotten back to reading my book because I have limited time. I'm pretty much scheduled out. But I've, I'm on the internet defending Libby Halevi from people who should be making an attempt to directly contact her and say, what's this bullshit about? That's what I did. Now, she's super busy. She can't talk to me till Friday. So I did reach out to her and say, hey, look, we need to talk about this because this is inappropriate. It's obvious. You do not understand, A, the charges. You do not understand what Dana Durnford's good work is. You don't understand what he's done. And you have fallen victim to the propaganda. She was actually grateful that I reached out to her to talk to her. And look, it is very important for us to understand and really recognize how propaganda works. Look, if propaganda didn't work, we would not have the Unpatriot Act be the law in our country. We would not have the nuclear industry now telling people in St. Louis, don't worry, there's no harm to human health. We're going to take studies of all the people with cancer and maybe we'll decide it's from the nuclear waste. It's freak. That's why they call it propaganda, folks. I can't help but get excited here. I am not willing to throw anybody under the bus right now. We need to circle the wagons. We need to talk about love and we need to talk about facts. And the fact is, Libby Halevi did not know the facts. And it showed in her little offhanded remark that has really pissed off everybody here. But I personally, the day before Thanksgiving, I'm grateful for Libby Halevi's work. She's done awesome work and will continue to do awesome work whether we follow her or not. She's going to continue to do it because she is an anti-nuke activist. Just as Dana Durnford got out of prison and went on the Jeff Wrench show and went on the John B. Wells show because he's not going to stop either. Just like me, I have gotten so many insulting insults from people. I've been called a co-conspirator to murder because I put out a video asking people to help Dana with his legal fund. I have been called a complete idiot for supporting Kevin Blanche. I mean, honestly, I'm done with, I, I, I guess I'm not done being called names because I am not going to stop supporting Dana Durnford and I am not going to say that Kevin Blanche's activism is pointless. Everybody's activism against the anti-nuclear industry, I mean, in the anti-nuclear industry is, is necessary. We need every single person. And when people do not understand the facts, it's up to us with the love of, open in our hearts to go to those people directly. Make an effort to connect with people. Have the courage to ask the questions. Uh, admittedly, it took me a few days to get my courage up to contact Libby and say, what the heck is going on here? You have really, really offended many people in the anti-nuke movement. And this is a new movement. Many of us have not been actively engaged at all until Fukushima. So we're shocked, and we're trying to all figure out sides, but I will tell you what, folks, and that's why I'm putting out this quick video. 
The idea of love is not an idea. It is about we have to actually work it. We have to make it happen. We have to decide we're going to feed the light wolf, not the dark wolf. We're not going to feed the negative emotions. We're going to feed the positive emotions. We're going to have the four agreements. We're going to be true to our word. We're not going to talk shit about other people or ourselves. Now, if Dana Durnford and Levi Halevi had stuck to the first agreement. None of this conflict would have happened, but they didn't because they obviously haven't read the four agreements. The first agreement is don't say anything negative about yourself or other people and stop the negative self chatter. That's the first agreement. The second agreement is don't take it personally, which all of these anti-nuke activists out there, you know, throwing Libby under the bus is taking it personally. Instead of having the, the courage, and that's number three, don't make assumptions. Have the courage to ask the questions. Seriously, we have to have the courage to ask the questions. We need to be able to have an open conversation with her and confront her statements, which is what I've done. Now, I don't know what her real position is. She might stick to it and say, I think he's a fucking lunatic. In which case, I might disagree with her and stop following her myself because Dana Durnford risked his life to go show us exactly how barren the West Coast is. And that is real activism. He put his life on the line for us. And yes, he got a little hyperbolic about these fucking nuclear rats. Who hasn't, as many of you just listen to me cuss, a 60-year-old woman just cussing off the top of my tongue because I can't stand them. Honestly, they're killing our fucking planet. And number four, do your best. And that's what I'm doing. And you know what? If people want to call me names and say that I'm too soft and I'm too this, I, I'm really sick of being called names. But guess what? I guess I'm not sick enough because I'm going to continue to support Dana Durnford. And even though Kevin Blanche and I parted ways, I acknowledge the fact that Kevin Blanche has value in his activism. People don't agree with that. I've caught a lot of shit over that one. You have no idea. And the, the name calling, I've been called a co-conspirator to murder because I put out a video encouraging people to support Dana Durnford. So unlike Libby Halevi, I am going to say we need to continue and double down and support Dana Durnford because he is us. We are Dana. But you know what? We are also Libby. We are Libby Halevi. She made a choice not to have children because she's a Three Mile Island victim. She's following the pablum. She's just, a, she's just like an American who reads the news, doing her work, and made a remark, maybe to try to protect herself. I don't know. I don't have her answers yet. We'll find out. But my position is, is we need to hold judgment. We need to just like refuse to participate in the irrational emotions of passing judgment on people so quickly. Have the courage to confront them. This is how we change minds and hearts. This is the work of us. We have to convince people that nuclear industry actually advocates for harming the entire planet they did nothing but slam dana on purpose because now all if you read that japanese times article it implied he's sitting on his couch or in his in his kitchen not one mention that he's an, a handicapped person a diet a work-related industry accident victim who got out of bed, literally out of bed when this happened, when Fukushima happened and started paying attention. And by 2014, got his courage up and got his energy up to go up and down the coast to do what our governments are refusing to do, which is document the fact that our, our wildlife, our sea life along the coast of marine life is dying and dead. The Pacific Ocean is Dying, whether freaking Ken Buesler and Jake Cullen want to admit it or not, with their tiny little narrow minded, let's promote the nuclear industry at all costs above all life on this planet. That's not science. When scientists lie, people die. When scientists lie, people die. And that's where we're at. And Libya Lady unfortunately believed the bullshit. 
because mainstream media is the nuclear industry. But the day before Thanksgiving, I really wanted to put out a video and tell you guys, let's hold our judgment. Let's act in love. Let's walk in love. Remember the four agreements. Now, after my conversation with Libby on Friday, I'll know more, and I'm going to post another video. But this has taken up a lot of my energy defending Libby all week long, like it took when I, you know, parted ways with Kevin Blanche. All I did was spend my time defending Kevin from people. And none of it was posted publicly. It was all private, but it was bullshit, to be really honest. So I'm going to end here, but I really want us to walk in love. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull out another one of our little cards, our little magic cards, because we need some magic going on. This says dream big, and that's what I'm doing. I'm dreaming big. Readers become leaders. Readers become leaders. Wow. So if Libby had, Libby had actually really read the real facts and really gone in, dug into the case, I don't think she would have made the statement she made. So we need to become readers. We need to read the NRC documents. We need to read uh, the scientific, scientific information. We need to educate ourselves. And we need to walk in love. And I want to tell everybody happy Thanksgiving, even if you spend it alone. There are people out here who uh, actually appreciate you and love you because we're all connected on this little YouTube community of anti-nukers. We're not giving up. We're digging down. And we are not giving up. No matter what they do, they cannot harm us. They cannot shake us. We are determined. And we stand behind Dana Durmford 100%. And we stand behind Dana with love. I stand behind Dana with love. And my love requires that I at least speak to Libby Halevi and confront her about the things, the hurtful things she said. And allow her to backtrack from that and to help her understand the real facts. Because it is really, uncon this is exactly what the nuclear industry does and what they operate for. And they love it, folks. So I hope that somebody will take this message and not throw it out offhanded and tell me that I'm just too much of a negotiator. But I, I think this is a very big starting point for us. We have a grand opportunity to really walk in love and make a difference, a huge difference in terms of our power. All we have is each other. And hopefully Libby will understand that, come out with a public apology, and really dig into the facts. And in fact, I'm going to encourage her to interview Dana Durnford. And I hope Dana will accept that instead of just being angry at her for blowing him off. I, I personally hope that they she's able to reach out to him, make amends, and we are all stronger for it. So... You know me, the eternal optimist. <laughs> so I believe in love. That's the thing. The power of love is greater than fear. And I am not afraid of a one-minute statement by uh, Libby Halevi being strong enough to knock us off our rockers or stop Dana's great work. Because Dana did fabulous work that will come out and eventually in time will probably be the hallmark of many good research. So... Put your courage feet on, you guys. Uh, let's walk in love. Let's use the four agreements. And um, have a good Thanksgiving. Ciao. Bye. Be safe.